I was homeless and I was carrying all my stuff around. <laughs> and it was miserable and it was cold. And um, I just, it was the first time I'd ever been in that position. And so I was frightened and I was, you know, not sure. And I was new to uh, Colorado. So I didn't know what I was doing or what I was, you know, and I was having some, prop, some personal problems. And um, somebody mentioned the gathering place. They were just very friendly and non-judgmental, smiling. They acted like nothing was wrong. And I was like, oh, yay, I could, you know, be myself. And I didn't feel like I was less than. They made me feel like I was just like I was before that I got in that situation. A common misconception is that um, the cause of homelessness is like substance use issues, drug use issues. Um, and I would say uh, that I just I disagree with that. Um, while a lot of our clients do struggle with substance use, um, a lot of that has stemmed from extreme trauma in, um, in their previous experiences. Our housing stabilization advocate, who has a caseload of 30 people, this past quarter has been his worst quarter in getting people housed uh, just because of prices. Um, and you know, he can help with rental assistance and deposit assistance, but it's not enough. The rent prices all of a sudden went up for, um, for me about a year and a half ago. And, and so I could not afford the $200 increase that they had imposed on, on me. And so I, I thank goodness didn't get evicted, but I had to move because I could not afford um, that increase. And so um, I stayed with friends, I stayed in the car, um, I stayed in the shelter, and um, that was very difficult. Um, and so the gathering place, uh, gosh, they, they've helped me find a, a program where I could stay until I could afford something. A lot of times it can feel like you, you don't have a lot of choice uh, and you're really, w you're waiting on chance. Like, um, am I gonna win, win a Section 8 lottery, a voucher from the Section 8 lottery? Am I gonna get off the wait list at this transitional housing program? Um, it's like a lot of it is just up to, up to luck. The diversity of people we see, um, I see people who are dentists, um, have fled domestic violence and, and are starting from nothing, um, people who have um, higher education but are um, really just had a bad turn of luck. Um, it really makes you think that and know that these people aren't different from me. Um, you know, something could happen tomorrow. I have a huge medical bill and I'm in the same situation. I had gotten laid off of my job and I was working for the temp service across the street and uh, a lady just stopped and said, do you know about the card project? I was like, no. And she, and she said, do you do art? I said, yes, I haven't done it in years. And uh, so she invited me to come over and I just followed a stranger over to card project and uh, been here three years and it literally changed my life. We offer several different arts programs. Um, we have the card project, which is probably our biggest. Um, women could come in on Tuesdays, Thursdays, or Fridays for two hour blocks and work on cards and sell those. Um, we also have open art. Um, that one's kind of a free for all. They can uh, work on whatever they want to. I also give some instruction too, so they can watch me show them some drawing tips if they're interested. The women there, the artists make cards um, that are sold for $2 a piece at um, air, uh, like coffee shops around town, um, all over town. And then the women get 75% of the profits. The rest goes back to just funding the card project. If you can get 10 to $15 a week when you're homeless, that's a lot of money. You know, that really is a difference. I remember one year, this was um, probably about five years ago, um, my daughter and I combined almost made a thousand dollars during the winter holidays. The card project jump-started a whole art career for me. So uh, through the card project, someone also told me about working in Red Line galleries, and so now I work in Red Line. It gives them an opportunity to just leave their their lives that can be very stressful. Um, at the door and come in and just work on, on uh, being creative. It's a good, genuine way to get your feet on the ground, have social interaction, a lot of fun with peers, and to express a creative side of your nature and to be totally inspired by other people. So that's why I'm in Card Project and Gathering Place is just the premier place in Denver to get your feet on the ground if you're a homeless woman. It's really been a blessing to me. I'm not kidding you. If it wasn't for this place, I probably wouldn't have been able to pull myself up.